So why is this allowed to happen? Well, I don't know if you guys saw the video on Nuke that I made, but I was shooting through slivers of metal, and I guess they weren't classified as walls, so you wouldn't have to wallbang to shoot through them. And it was just counting as a normal shot. Um, well, Valve actually went in and patched that stuff, so now those count as walls, which is really nice. That's great. So how do I know these are fake walls on cobblestone? Well, if you look, you can see a real wall ending here, and if I shoot anywhere to the left of it, I actually shoot right through this sliver of concrete to the other wall, right? So it's not counting as a wall bang, whereas if I shoot anywhere here, it impacts right with the wall right in front of me, as it should. And how do I know that these aren't real walls? Well, if I shoot here and I shoot here, you're going to see there's going to be a bullet impact on the wall, whereas you won't see it here because it actually went through the sliver and into the wall. And why is this important? Well, it all you know depends how much damage you're going to output to the enemy, right? If I shoot here and I can one-hit them, whereas if I shoot here and it goes through the wall and it won't one-hit them, that's pretty important. That can determine you know rounds, how much damage you're outputting based off of if it's a normal shot or if it's a wall bang shot. And you're going to see this is all over the map. Anywhere where you see those slivers, you can actually use them and just shoot through them. So let's say your teammate calls that they're rushing out of mid. You want to peek this angle, but you don't want to expose yourself too much, and you just want to put out bullets, and you don't necessarily want to aim right at them. Well, you can come here, and then you can just shoot through this wall, and you see it's going to shoot anybody that's coming rushing mid. And it happens on any wall, and I'll show you again. If you come up to this wall and you want to shoot anybody coming through the gate, you can see the wall ends right here. You can see that little piece, and you can shoot anybody that's trying to run out into mid. Another spot is right here for anybody opping on long. You can see the angle you'd want to watch is back here against this wall, right? So you're going to come here and you're going to look through this sliver. Well, let's say, hey, I don't want my crosshair blocking any of it, so I'm just going to put my crosshair up into this piece of the wall. Well, it doesn't really count as a wall, right? Because you're shooting through the sliver, not the wall. And if it did, you would see purple and blues and reds like this. So why don't I like this? Well, I think it's a lack of um, consistency, I guess, with the walls themselves, and it's kind of deceptive. Whereas, you know, let's say you're here and you can just shoot... Okay, well, that's not the best example, but you can just shoot through any part of this wall, right? And I just don't like that it looks like a wall, but it's not. I feel like it should just be patched into a wall, or they should get taken out.